Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday, start to a brand new week, and potentially a big upgrade pack day on FIFA 23 inside of the Path to Glory promo because Monday is always upgrade pack day, but will EA get back in the normal swing of things and be dropping us a big gamble pack today? I think there's maybe a slight potential chance of that, but also we would expect to see the normal upgrade packs as we almost always do on Mondays. And we, of course, look forward to at least somewhat of a market rise today as a lot of people finish their weekend leagues, get their rewards, go out and buy cards for teams. Now, could that change a little bit today? And could the market rise be a little bit subdued due to a lot of the demand being objectives? We'll talk about that and what to expect with content and, of course, get a pulse of the current market and why I have zero coins at the moment, I'm investing for a little bit of that market rise, trying to make some quick flips. But if you're excited for it today, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. You guys know what Mondays are for, right? It's about the upgrade packs. And that's what I want to first talk about today because Mondays in the past couple of weeks, apart from two weeks ago where we had that warm-up series promo that it was just kind of everything was out of whack and out of the normal schedule. But for normal promos, Mondays usually bring us some sort of like regular upgrade pack, sometimes the 80 plus team of the week, and also sometimes some big time gamble packs. Now there's one SBC pack that we have had added to the code that we have not actually seen yet. And that is the base icon upgrade pack with no max rating. We've had the max 86 icon, of course, we've had the max 87 hero and the regular hero upgrade pack, but we have not yet had the regular base icon upgrade and i do think that this could be the next upgrade pack that we get now is it going to be today it's definitely not a guarantee that it's going to be today but a change from the previous icon upgrade pack the this one would be is of course you'd be able to pack the big boys right guys like cruyff guys like ronaldinho whose baby cards were not able to be packed in that first iteration of the icon upgrade because it was a max 86 rated right so that would be a draw for an icon pack that ea could potentially drop today now there's no leaks about that i'm just potentially speaking if ea wants to release a big pack like that that's kind of the next step i guess unless they wanted to re-release uh, another you know hero or icon pack it wouldn't make sense to re-release a foot hero upgrade uh for cards that are you know not as hype anymore because they're like the second tier version i guess they could still do that but that seems a bit less likely to me and i think that's why ea released the regular foot hero upgrade last week during the week and got everything kind of finished up with the base foot hero cards before of course they dropped the world cup items uh, in the game now in packs in team one. So I think there's a little bit of a chance for an icon pack today. Uh, again, it could just be a great segue or a great last chance, right? For EA to release a big pack like that and get everybody excited, get everybody hyped for potentially packing uh, some of these base icons that are pretty big um, before we have new versions of icons coming to the game. Because as we know with the World Cup content we have world cup icons we have a car design for it and everything these guys are not going to be in the game for like a week and a half or two weeks yet i think it's the 25th of november is the date that ea said is when these are going to drop in the game so it's not for a minute but again i think either this monday or next monday would be a perfect time for ea to drop that base icon upgrade just because it would be like their last chance to do that before some of the base icons i guess become irrelevant when their new icons drop so of course when we think about a gamble pack we have to talk about sbc fodder and this is going to lead us into another conversation about fodder because this stuff has started to go up on certain areas of the market, but on other areas of the market, like 84s, it's still really, really low. And I think if I were to make a fodder investment right now, 84s and 85s would be the place that I would go because I feel like there's more guaranteed content in those areas and more demand in those areas than there would be for the higher tier stuff. Uh, again, I feel, I feel like there's a better chance of an SBC, like an 80 plus team of the week dropping again this week than there is for an icon upgrade pack or something along those lines. Now, speaking of fodder, a lot of it is low, except for the top tier, for the higher tier cards. 90 rated 91s and I think 88s and 89s are all up as well because of the Robbie Keane SBC. Even though Robbie Keane is very expensive and in my opinion, a bit overpriced, a lot of people are doing this because the card looks cracked. It's a Premier League player, dope dynamic image, five-star weak foot upgrade, and you get some really good packs 
back. So fodder at the moment is a very interesting place where the higher tier is a bit inflated, but the lower tier is still very investable. So if you want to snag some 84s or 85s, 85s at like 7.2k and below is fantastic. 84s, 1.8, 1.9, fantastic as well. I think you'll see some profits later on in the week, as soon as even today after content, if we get the right content. So if you're looking to stock the club, I think that's a great place to stock uh, today. So just watch out for that fodder tier of the market. Now, if you invested in the higher tier, you're like, Nate, should I sell my 89s? If I sell my 90s or 91s, 90s are really expensive. 91s are starting to creep up there as well. Uh, I mean, the fact that Benzema is 47K and Lewandowski uh, is 53, that's a pretty big disparity or discrepancy. Uh, even at the moment, I don't know if this Benzema is an undercut, but 90 rated at like 91s that are, are going to be over 50k in my opinion, because I think people with upgrade packs that drop today are going to continue to want to go and grind that Robbie Keane SBC. Um, and again, guys, I think that this Robbie Keane is a bit overpriced. I don't hate it if you really want to go and do it, because you're never going to see a card like this for Robbie Keane probably for a really long time in the game. That five star weak foot upgrade is nice. He's explosive. Um, he's got good traits. And, you know, he's a really, really good looking card and you get some really good packs back. Now, I can tell that a lot of people are doing this SBC because of two things. Number one, the fodder is up, right? Your 88s and above are up in price. But number two, the rest of the gold card market is down, right? And that's the other part of what I want to transition to talking about in the market here in a little bit is a lot of your gold markets down. Look at Mbappe, 1.06, a huge drop for Mbappe. I do think this will rebound back a little bit today. Um, and he, he might even be starting to rebound back here pretty soon. But if you take a look at a lot of golds, a lot of them started dropping off at around the 6 p.m. time frame, just honestly, because I believe pack supply. I think pack supply and the end of the weekend league, a little bit of weekend league sell off, those kind of things. Kyle Walker was 78, now down at 72. I like the potential for some of these cards to rise up a bit today with a market rise, but definitely they were hurt with the supply. There's some good packs in here. Like I said, right? The 88 rated squad gives you a 50k pack. The 89 rated squad gives you a rare mega pack. 87 gives you a prime gold players. So that's some big draws to this Robbie Keane SBC as well. If you want to craft it, it's out for 13 days. You got time to do it so that is there but also be careful with your fodder because if you're turning in all your untradeable fodder for that that card hopefully should be in your team for a long time or else you know you could say i i could have used that fodder on some other sort of upgrade sbc or whatever so again just make a good decision there for me it's too expensive i got voller i'm happy with that and i'm happy with the cards in my team i don't want to feel like especially if i'm doing a, an 800 000 coin sbc Unless it's something that I really, really love, which I would be so stoked to use this card, uh, of course, as a former Tottenham player. But um, it's just, it's just I don't want to be stuck with them for forever, and I don't want to put forth the facilities that it, it takes to get it done. So that's kind of my standpoint, the Robbie Keane SBC and the SBC fodder side of the market. Now, like I mentioned, spinning it back into Monday content today, uh, the 80-plus upgrade or some sort of regular upgrade pack we would really expect to be released in the game today as well and that's extra hype because if any of you guys saved 80 plus upgrade packs last week you will remember and you may have seen and maybe experienced it yourself that the world cup hero cards are just like promo cards and they're packable from normal upgrade packs yes it is true. I've seen people packing cards like Yunberg and Crouch uh, and even some crazy ones like Park Ji Sung and for Papan and, and guys like that. I have seen people packing these Hero World Cup cards out of normal upgrade packs. Now, I hope that whatever upgrade packs or player pick that they drop today, I think it would either be an 80 plus pack or a 75 plus player pick. Um, we've had both of those in the past. So maybe one of those two uh, would drop today. You know, I hope that that would be coded in the same way that the World Cup heroes would be packable along with the pack, the glory cards. Um, but that's a huge draw for regular upgrade packs today. So, you know, knowing that those usually drop on Mondays, I think that getting into some gold commons, you know, at literally a discard price, I believe they're like 300 coins, 350 on bid, stock some of those in your club, stock some gold rares at discard as well. It's a, it's a no brainer, right? Get yourself some of those in the club. If you plan on doing a bunch of upgrade packs, that is something that I would absolutely do, especially with some foot champs rewards being given out today. Some people will open their packs and just list up all the cards should bring a little bit of supply on the market. I would stock your club with those golds to get prepared ahead of time for those upgrade packs today. And like I mentioned, I really love the 84s, really love the 85s because 
uh, and 83s as well. I do think they're going to drop that Team of the Week upgrade SBC again because uh, this would be their kind of their last opportunity to do so, and they could make it Team of the Week 1 through 8. Now, I haven't gone back and checked uh, the pack code yet to see if a Team of the Week 1 through 8 has been added yet. I believe that it has. Um, but that's kind of what we look for every single week to see, okay, is EA going to drop that 80 plus team league upgrade again? But that's been a staple SBC on either Monday or Tuesday uh, for most weeks. So watch out for that. And I think that's why I really like the low rated fodder as still an investment. Uh, heading throughout the week this week. So other last kind of thoughts for Monday content today. Um, of course, big gamble SBC potential. If not, then there could be something going on um, with just a regular 80 plus team of the week and a normal upgrade pack. You know, we had those specific nation uh, pack supply SBCs, right? The Ecuador and the Qatar. Could those be, um, could the Qatar one, which is expiring today, be replaced with some other nation? Absolutely. So watch out on the lower tier side of the market for that. Also, also for today, we do have another leak for a dynamic duo in some, it's some Croatians, Vlasic and Sosa, left back and a left mid, left sided uh, link up right there for the Croatian lads. That would be our next dynamic duo. And it's like, Nate, are there other dynamic duos that are expiring? No, this is dynamic duo number six, because uh, I went and just checked objectives as well. Um, and if you go and take a look in the milestones tab, there is so much stuff in here. It's actually crazy. All of these, uh, these dynamic duo cards don't expire for like 39 more days till the end of the world cup season. So we're going to have so many cards here and objectives to grind and to get done. Uh, I guess that duo might just add to the list today or in the next couple of days. And then maybe just maybe some more swap tokens because we haven't had any swap tokens dropped since the first day. I know that EA has been uh, allowing us to grind through those objectives a lot, uh, but maybe some more swap tokens will be attainable today. That would be very nice for some of us that are working on that objective grind. And that's what I want to talk about next, the market and how does this crazy objective grind and everybody wanting to get these tokens worked on and, and get that in, into progress, how does that affect the market today? Well, I think it could actually hurt the market more than it could help it because if there's a lot of demand over here for people to go out and buy certain players or just kind of get through these games, right? Because it's a bit tedious. You have to go play some squad battles, right? To get these goals scored or you have to go into the friendly mode uh, to play the uh, FIFA World Cup swaps week in the live foot friendly world cup swaps now i do have a bit of a tip for you guys in the world cup swaps mode there have been people that have been getting shadow banned by ea because they have been playing this golden goal mode so many times and you know probably losing a good amount as well don't play i think it's more than like 10 games an hour or something like that because if you play more and more than 10 games an hour and if you lose all of them or most of them with the golden goal rule for some reason uh, it counts as like a rage quit for whatever reason it seems to be. And I, I know some people were coming in the stream yesterday and they're like, Nate, I can't load into a game. What in the world is going on? And that's probably the culprit right there. I think some people were thinking it through and that seems to make the most sense. If that is you, it's probably like a 24 hour gameplay ban, which seems crazy and it seems dumb and it shouldn't be that way. It's probably like a setup of one thing that EA has in place that you can't just go in and quit out of games to try to get, I don't even know what the draw would be to go in and quit out of a bunch of games. But something that EA has set up is not working correctly with this game mode first two uh, that they have created. And, and we never had any problems with it last year, I don't think. Uh, but since we're playing so many games in this, and there's no daily limit. I think that's the problem and why some people are running into that issue. So just be careful. Don't play too many games in a row. Uh, and if you do end up getting banned, if you're on a next-gen console like PS5, you can go over to the PS4 mode of the game and play gold and gold there as well, and you should be unbanned. So just a little bit of a tip there. Be careful if you're grinding those objectives. But that's what a lot of people are going to be doing through the next day, two days, three days on this game, myself included. There's a lot of objective demand. So does that actually end up hurting the market rise? I think that it can a little bit, but also at the same time, people want to get packs for rivals. People are going to get their Recon League rewards today. They're going to get packs. They're going to get coins. And there's a lot of brand new PTG cards and World Cup heroes that people are going to want to go out and try. So I've been taking a look at the market. I'll even show you guys my transfer list here. I have picked up 
of a healthy chunk of cards, right? Some of them listed for lazies right now. I picked up a couple PTGs, some Zacharias at 290. He's up to like 315 at the moment. I picked up some golds, right? I spread the wealth between some heroes, between some PTGs and some golds because I just want to make sure that, you know, I'm not entirely sure what part of the market's going to rise up the most today. So I kind of wanted to spread the wealth and diversify the investment a little bit. Um, golds did really well from Saturday. Um, into Sunday. And, you know, with how big of a drop off we had on some golds, I think there's potential for those to do well again today. Cancelo was like 48K, you know, maybe slightly rising up a little bit there. He's about 50,000 coins. I will mention a World Cup hero that is down bad right now. It's Folaire. Uh, He is in the mud. And I think the thing that I'd be careful with with trading with some of these is just be careful with the strikers. Uh, you saw Mbappe, right? We looked at his price. You see this Folaire card. Uh, you see for Alon, you see so many strikers in this game are down because of the Robbie Keane uh, and a lot of people going out and crafting that card. Although I know like some of us look at that, that Robbie Keane and are like, man, it's too expensive. But if you take a look at strikers, they're kind of down everywhere. But I picked up a QL tonight, as you saw on my transfer list. I picked him up at 340, right? I was just trying to pick up on some of these World Cup hero cards that are pretty rare that are, I, I like the Premier League links the most right now. So he's about back up to about 350, 360. So he's just kind of fluctuating a bit, but I picked him up at 347. I was happy with that price because I was like, all right, people are maybe building out a Robbie Keane. People are going to wake up today, maybe try out some of these heroes. I like the Premier League links. Um, and, you know, that's why I went with some of the cards that I went with. But I tried to pick up on some golds as well, just in case the higher tier stuff doesn't do as well. Usually uh, the golds can be there to kind of save the day, if you will. I'm a little bit unsure on this Zakaria card. I don't know how much he's going to rise up today. Um, he does seem to have a decent amount of supply. And I know there's a lot of people that are invested in this for an overnight flip. Um, so, you know, I'm going to be a bit careful with this guy. I know that I'm already up about 20K on the card, which isn't a ton if you think about it. If I could get this out at like 320, I'd be super duper happy because that'd be about 10. I'd be over 10K profit a card. It'd be like 15K a card. There's four pages to that price. So might not be able to get him out there. But even if it's like 315 to 317, I'd be very happy. Uh, selling Zakari there. We'll see. He might go up a little bit today because he's a brand new card day one. Uh, it released in the mid release yesterday, which did answer some of our questions, right? I mean, actually, it didn't answer our questions. We, we answered the question of are we getting a mini release or not? But yesterday we were looking at this web page. I even tweeted about it yesterday. EA said there's going to be 32 Path to Glory items, one from each of the 32 nations. Uh, but now we have some overlap and we have 20 Path to Glory players that have been released in total now. And the question again is, if we're only going to have 32 items, what happens to all those leaks that we had early in the week about like the Nkunku and the Christian Pulisic and that kind of stuff? So really curious to see how that kind of goes throughout the week this week and see if Foot Sheriff tweets anything out information wise about that. And also if we get any more specific PTG player SBCs, because that would of course increase that count that we currently have so you know the market today again i'm expecting it to go up a little bit until content nothing super crazy but enough where i think we're going to be able to profit off of it as people will get coins go and buy some teams uh, but then after 6 p.m today it really just depends on how the content is if we have big content uh if we're there's leaks beforehand too if, if foot sheriff or there's other guys on twitter saying hey we're going to get an icon sbc today or we're going to get some sort of other pack today it's going to move the market a good amount then you'd probably Probably see some panic selling heading into the content drop uh and then if that happens you know if we get a really good day of upgrade packs you guys remember what happened a couple weeks ago i think it was maybe during rule breakers the week two or maybe road to the knockout we had an insane monday with a gamble sbc pack and really good upgrades and it did hurt the market a bit so the market on monday is usually pretty healthy um, but i'm probably going to end up selling my cards before 6 p.m just to keep it safe and if there's really nothing that comes out then from there, we'll go back out on the market, search for some deals, hunt for some cards to make some profit and stuff like that. But, you know, it's Monday. Mondays have been pretty big days in the past, so I would expect it to be a pretty good Monday today on this game. We will just have to see. And then, of course, as we look at the PTG cards once again, just to kind of shout out and like say, a lot of you guys have been asking me like, hey, Nate, when should I be looking to buy some of these players? We got games coming up, guys. Like the World Cup is literally like, what, five, six days away? For It's not very far. And uh, I think it is worth noting 
that these cards will will probably be investable. There's going to be a lot of people that will look to invest in them. I mean, the world's biggest stage of football, the World Cup, these guards live and upgrade for how their nations uh, perform with the first games coming here pretty soon. And so these are going to be on the forefront of our mind all week. We're going to be tracking these cards, and I'm going to be looking towards that Thursday time frame once again before these go out of packs to potentially invest in them. The only reason or the only time that it would be like these guys could potentially be... Um, and investable before that would be if the content you know maybe today is really insane but then the rest of the week is just like a huge l and there's no other content the rest of this week no other huge leaks or anything like that then i don't see that happening but that would be a situation where maybe these cards are the cheapest maybe today maybe tomorrow but i really doubt that i think that the thursday supply with the rewards time frame with the marquee matchups that is where you're going to see these cards probably hit their lowest again and maybe on friday who knows what's going to happen on friday with some panic and stuff like that that's a few days down the road so i'm not going to look to invest in these just yet i'd like to mitigate my risk a bit and i think that if you bought now some of these still seem to be a bit expensive um, they do have more potential to go down than up, in my opinion, throughout the week. So we'll sit tight with these and keep an eye on it. But definitely going to be tracking the investment potential for some of these cards as we head throughout the week. Because again, there's a lot of people that want to buy these cards and a lot of people that will just look at them and say, hey, Griezmann's French. They're supposed to do good in the World Cup. This guy should get an upgrade, right? I want to buy him before he gets upgraded. People love live cards. I mean, shoot, look at Darwin Nunez wants to watch just keeps rising if i had this card i understand why the price is going up 190k his upgrade if he gets in team of the week on wednesday will be an 86 rated card so just be careful with this one selling the hype is my uh, advice for you there and watch out for the leaks because again people will know if he's in team of the week before team of the week is actually released we'll get leaks and stuff beforehand so the minute we get those and even a little bit before we get those publicly tweeted out you'll probably start to see his price move if he's not in he'll go down a lot if he is in you might go up a little bit more so that's going to be the video for today it's going to be a big monday and i'm excited for it and i like that there's an element of surprise at least right now when i'm recording this We'll see if we get any more leaks today, see if we get any more information or what could be coming out for upgrade packs today. But I do expect regular upgrade packs. I do expect a little bit of a market rise. And we'll we'll head into the 6 p.m. content drop live on stream today with uh, very hopeful pieces of or hopeful thoughts of good content today on this game. So if you enjoyed the video today, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. For Nate Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.